Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and uh, today in this video we are going to learn how to make this type of uh, drying in solid works from this part. So in previous video we have made this part. If you have not watched that video, the link is in the description. Let's start first of all open the desired part and then click on this new button here. Then you will see these options part assembly and drying. So you will have to start from drying option. But I have already saved the drying template in page A3 format. So I am going to make this drying uh, on A3 file um, page format. Now uh, as soon as you have entered into SOLIDWORKS drawings, you will see this option model view. So click on double click on the part and uh, now um, if you want to see the preview of this part, scroll down and from here check this option preview and then your, uh, your parts preview will be generated. These are the display styles and here is the scale. Drop the part and now go to drawings option and then select section view. This is the orientation of the cutting line. Drop the cutting line in the center of the part and press OK button. If you want to flip the direction of the um, section view, flip direction uh, is option is used for this purpose. Now press OK button. So here is there is no center line here. For that, uh, go to annotation tab and from here select center line and then select this hole and press OK button. Now. Um, if you want to generate one more view related to this view, for that click on this drawing view and then here is the third option projected view, click on it. And now you can generate the relative view of this part. You can change the display style from here. Now we have to add the dimensions to our part. Click on smart dimension option in the annotation tab and add the dimensions. Now if you can see this uh, dimension is in millimeters but we have created this part in inches. So uh, now we have two options. One option is dual dimension option and the other option is to changing the environment of whole drawing from millimeters to inches so um, number option number one scroll down and here at the end if you can check this box dual dimension then will you will see both dimensions uh, both in inches and in millimeters and uh, the option two changing the environment click on this arrow in front of mmgs and from here select IP as inch pound second. So now we have the dimension in inches. Now we have to generate the detailed view of this area. For that go to drawing tab and from here select detail view draw a circle like this this is the style um, of the detail, detail view from here select connected scroll down and uh, this is the style display style and here is the scale so you can change the scale to 5-1 Press OK button. Now um, add the dimension in this detail view. This dimension we have to increase the number of zeros after point. This dimension change the unit precision to digits now I have to add 
the dimension between this midpoint and this midpoint but i am unable to select these midpoints so for that go to sketch tab and from here select point and drop the point on this midpoint and also on this midpoint now you can add the dimension between these midpoints one more thing center line started from this midpoint vertical make sure this line is vertical now add the angle also add this angle if you want to switch the direction of this arrow click on this dot once again if you want to switch the direction of this arrow click on this point now adding the diameter of the bore angle of the threads now one last thing this diameter and this diameter for that I, we don't have any point or any edge at the very end of the threads and also on very beginning of the threads for that we will use the point so go to sketch tab and from here select point go one point here one point here one here and one here now press escape key select this line and this line this point and then make their coincident relation also select this line and this point make their coincident relation similarly for this side select this point and this line make their coincident relation this line and this point make their coincident relation now select this line and this point make their coincident relation also select this line and this point make the make their coincident relation now select this point and this line make their coincident relation a coincident relation for this line this line now you can define the diameters so select this point and this point there is no diameter sign here for that scroll down and in the dimension text box click at the very beginning of this this text dim and from here select this diameter sign this diameter scroll down click here and then select the diameter sign add the fillet radius here this is how we can make this type of simple drawing in solid bugs i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and sparing time